welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new, I'm Sammy Jane and this is Ideal Girl. You are so far away from me right now, you do not even understand. It's really weird and I'm just hoping the audio is picking this up. But hello and yes, let's get into this video. This is a Mia Secret. I guess it's kind of an unboxing. This is the little Mia Secret kit that I am selling on my website. You can only get this on my website, like this exact kit, because I've made this up myself. I'm going to get straight into it and I'm going to show you guys what's in here. I will leave links above so you can see, you know, what, like, so you can click on it and go get it or go look at it or whatever. I will leave some links for y'all. So, first thing I'm going to pull out is these Royal Fancy 20 Nail Tips. And they just look like that. And yeah, they're basically just some nail tips there for y'all. We have a buffer, which is purple and black. I'm gonna do like the boring stuff first. Well, kind of. We've got some Strong Jet Clear Nail Glue. Now this is, I believe, the same nail glue. Ooh that I sell on my website, but this is a dropper and the one that I sell separately is in a brush, which personally I prefer the brush, which is why I decided to stock the brushes. But I think it's the same like actual glue, if that makes sense. So we've also got a little nail file right there. This is, oh, if it'll focus, 100 by 100. And then we have got the Mia Secret Primer, which I also use with the Poochie's hands when I want a less strong bond. But this is a primer that you can use, obviously, on humans. You can use it on humans. So this is the Extra Bond for acrylic and UV gels. And that is a... It's a 30 mil, I think. No, 15 mil. Wait, it doesn't say. Oh, 15 mil. And the glue is three gram. So whatever that is in mils, I guess. <laughs> We've also got an air dry top coat. I think it's an air dry. Yeah, a dry fast top coat, ultra gloss. I haven't actually tried this out yet. And it's not, I believe, UV. It's just a regular like nail varnish top coat, if that makes sense. You guys know what I'm saying. Why does this keep going out of focus? I'm right in the middle. What is your problem? What is your actual freaking problem? Anyways, moving on. We've also got, which I think is really cool about this set, we've also got a Mia Secret brush. I think this is supposed to be a size 8 because it says 8 0 R on it. But. It's pretty big. It's more like a 10. I think the Mia Secret sizes are basically a size down from what they say they are. No it. A size up. No it. I think an 8 would be more like a 10 and a 10 would be more like a 12 if that makes sense. That's just how I personally have found their brushes so far, the ones that I've used so far. Uh, I really love the brushes that I have. I don't have this exact one so I can't tell you whether it's amazing or not. But it's a really good deal to get a brush, proper Kalinske brush and whatnot. So those things were originally in the kit. I have then changed things around a little bit. And I wanted you guys to be able to really test out the acrylic. That's what we want out of an acrylic like starter kit, isn't it? We want to be able to test out the actual product. So we have got a Mia Secret Clear in 15 grams. So 15 grams of the clear. We've then got 15 grams of the white. And we've also got 15 grams of my favourite of the cover powders that they do, which is the cover pink, and it's my favourite. So we've also got a liquid monomer in 180ml, which I think is a really, really good size monomer for a tester kit. For like a trial kit most of them will be like 30 60 mil so i think this is a really really good size which is why i've added it the one that was in originally was 15 mil it was the same size as the primer and i was like dude you can't even get like one nail out of that so yeah we've got a good size 100, uh, 118 mil 
what I'm going to try and do is here, I'm going to try and leave you a clip of this, like swatching the colours or using the colours, just a really quick clip of me using the colours so you can see what they look like before you buy them. Okay guys, I totally lied, this is not a quick clip at all, it's actually a full blown demonstration of a set of nails using this kit. So I'm obviously using the Monoma, the Clear, the White and the Cover Pink. I am using Eva to demonstrate this on you today, she's the darkest of the Poochie's hands, I will leave a link to the Poochie's hands here somewhere as well, but yes, yeah, so if you're interested in getting this kit, like I have said, the links will be in the in the video, like you should be able to click on the little eye at the top and you can go straight to the website. Also, the website link is always in my description as well. So I've gone in with the white. It's kind of hard to tell just because obviously the nails are kind of white, so yeah. But this is going to be a French ombre. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? I felt like I was saying something wrong. It's basically a baby boomer. It's a French fade, that's what I meant to say. And I'm just using the white and, of course, the cover pink to get this French baby boomer ombre nail. So this next nail is just going to be a smile line nail. So I am coming in with a cover pink and I'm basically just trying to build myself a smile line. I think this is one of the best that I've done. It's definitely something that you guys know I struggle with, but that is what this nail is. It's going to be a full on, like classic French tip nail basically. So I'm using the cover pink. I just love this cover pink. I, I definitely feel like it does not even come across on camera how pretty it is but it is like really pretty and it's got a tiny bit of shimmer to it as well which I just love so just coming in with the cover pink and building that nail bed If I could speak, the middle nail here is just a full pink nail. So I'm just doing the whole nail with the cover pink and applying it all over the nail. And I won't be capping this nail either, so I'm building the structure, but I'm just going straight in with the pink, and that is it on this nail. And the final nail is also going to be a French fade baby boomer nail. So just like before, I'm going in with the white, fading it up and then going in with the cover pink over the top. I just think these blend together so well. I'm not the best at doing like ombre nails, depending on the colours and depending on like the products that I'm using. But I definitely find these two of the easiest for me to blend together. 
So that is what I'm doing. I'm then just going to come in and I'm going to cap both the ombre nails, the baby boomer nails. The, they're, they're the only nails that I'm capping in this set. The other two I will just be leaving as they are because the white and the pink are core powders. You don't need to cap them. So, but obviously with the French fade, I don't want to like drill away, like file away the fade. So that's why I'm capping the French fade nails. then time to come in and file that smile line so I'm basically just refining it crisping it up making sure that it's just how I want it before I go in with the white then go in with the white and just make sure all of the nail is covered taking it right up to the edge and even over the top a little bit I do find these a little bit difficult uh, mainly I find white difficult to work with I don't know if anybody else finds that I'm not sure why I'm not sure if it's something to do with like the pigment or something but I do find it a little bit more like messy like it likes to cling to the brush more I think but yeah I'm just going in and trying to make it as even as I can and just as long as you make sure it's all totally covered of the smile line it kind of works if that makes sense so that is what I'm doing here I'm just making sure all of it is covered with the white I am then going to go in and I'm going to file all of the nails. I don't show all of this bit because obviously it's kind of wasn't the purpose of the video, but basically file around all of the nails, including that smile line, literally just file over the smile line until it comes out clean. And sometimes you look at it and think, oh my God, it's not right, it's not right, but you just need to keep filing and then it will come out and it will be crisp and nice and just exactly how you wanted it. I then buffed over, I wiped over with acetone just to get it smoother and I did top coat it. I didn't film any of this because like I said, I just wanted to show you basically what these colours look like together. I have used the air dry top coat that comes in this kit so it's not got a gel polish on top which is why I don't think it looks as shiny and as smooth but it's just got a regular air dry top coat, the one that comes in this kit. And this is just what the colours look like together. As you can see that smile line is nice and crisp now and I really like 
like the ombre. I just love this cover pink. It's like my favorite cover pink and I love the white. It's just so white and I love the clear. I just love it all so much. So there you go. You're welcome. And yes, so that is it for this video. It was just a really quick unboxing of the kit. I wanted to show you what you got in the kit. This is the little bag that it comes in and that's everything that you get in there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I really hope you will choose to go onto the website and purchase this kit because it's super awesome. And I can't remember the price off the top of my head, but the links will be there. You'll be able to click on it and go and buy them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I love you so, so much. Your support means the world to me. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye.